Hi, my name is Dan, and I'm a science educator here at the Royal Tyrrell Museum of Paleontology. Today I'm going to answer the question, how do dinosaurs get their names? Now, if you've ever heard a paleontologist or maybe a five-year-old kid rattling off dinosaur names, it might sound like they're speaking a different language. That's because they are. We use dinosaurs' scientific names, and those names are usually in Latin or Greek. Animals and plants alive today have common names, like a brown bear, but they have scientific names too. In this case, Ursus Arctus, which are the Latin and Greek words for bear. So it means bear, bear, I guess. What about us? Well, we're Homo sapiens, which means wise human in Latin. I'm guessing because they didn't know the Latin word for modest. When a new dinosaur is discovered, the paleontologists who describe it in the scientific paper will give it a name. Some dinosaurs are named for how they look. Triceratops here? Well, tri means three, sera means horn, and ops means face. Makes sense. It has three horns on its face. Many people know T-Rex or Tyrannosaurus rex. Tyranno means tyrant, saurus means reptile, and rex means king, the tyrant reptile king. Sometimes dinosaurs are named for where they're found. Albertosaurus sarcophagus means flesh-eating reptile from Alberta. Dromaeosaurus albertensis here means running reptile from Alberta. Some dinosaurs are named after people. Maybe the people who found them, the people who worked on them, or to honor someone. Regaliceratops peter Hughes I here? Well, it means Peter Hughes's royal horned face. And it's named after Peter Hughes, the person who first found just the tip of its snout sticking out of the ground. Borealopelta Mark Mitchell I here means Mark Mitchell's northern shield. And it's named after Mark Mitchell, one of our fossil preparators who spent over five years exposing, cleaning off, and gluing together this amazing specimen. Paleontologists often have fun with names, including naming creatures after rock stars, fictional characters, and even Muppets. There are so many examples, I can't possibly go through them all. But if you're interested, be sure to do some research on the names of your favorite creatures, be they prehistoric or alive today.